The bill passed by state lawmakers on Tuesday would allow for civil lawsuits against firearm manufacturers and dealers who make or sell guns illegally or inappropriately. The bill was introduced by State Senator Zelnor Myrie of Brooklyn. No other industry enjoys the immunity that the gun industry does. Uh, and while they are able to avoid consequences, kids in Brooklyn and in the Bronx and in Harlem are getting mowed down on the streets. The legislation would circumvent a current federal law which gives the gun industry broad immunity from civil suits in the hopes of cracking down on the smuggling of illegal weapons into New York. The 2005 Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act, known as PLACA, protects gun makers and dealers from being held liable when crimes are carried out with their products. But New York's new legislation exploits an important loophole. This legislation is a complete game changer. David Pusino is senior staff director at the Giffords Law Center, a gun control advocacy group. Pusina says a loophole in PLACA does expose gun industry players to liability if they violate state nuisance laws in the sale and marketing of their products, if those practices are illegal and irresponsible. And that is the exception New York's legislation seeks to exploit. What this bill will do is set a ground floor for the gun industry, requiring them to institute reasonable controls and procedures to act reasonably, to not place the public in harm, to not harm the public health and public safety. Mark Oliva is spokesman for the National Shooting Sports Federation, a gun industry advocate and lobbying group. New York's legislation, he says, will be challenged. What is being proposed in the New York State Legislature flies in the face of any understanding of tort law, that you cannot hold someone accountable and responsible for the actions committed by a non-associated or remote third party. But Senator Myrie says this bill is about going after the industry's bad actors, not responsible industry practitioners. If you are selling a dangerous product uh, and that product finds its way into the illegal markets and into our streets, if you have been irresponsible and reckless in selling that product, you should be held accountable. This is about giving victims of gun violence their day in court. Now, just to give some perspective, a state attorney general report showed that between 2010 and 2015, 86% of just the handguns recovered from crimes in New York were purchased out of state, most from neighboring states with weak gun laws. Now, Republican lawmakers in Albany uh, complain, as does Mike Oliva of the NSSF, that the new bill does nothing to solve the root causes of gun violence.